Hey everyone, uh, this is a quick video on um, these uh, Atlantic bookshelf speakers. Um, this is what it looks like when they're put together. Uh, just a rough idea of what it looks like when they're put together. So, um, these ended up being a little bit too blocky for me. Um, I picked these up from, um, where did I get these guys? This is the broken down model, so this just folds over the top, and then this goes on the on the top of that, and then um, the uh, hardware is here. So this is what it looks like with my speaker on top of it. And my speaker, I knew it was going to be a little bit on the small. These are six inch uh, speakers, um, but uh, I mean it doesn't look too bad. Now, of course, if you stand it up, then it looks pretty bad. <laughs> But if I were to keep these, um, I'd probably have them sideways. It was just a little too bulky for me. Now, if I had some really big speakers, maybe it would make sense. But um, uh, honestly, I just think it's too bulky of a look, um, period. Uh, I don't need that much metal to um, hold up my, my speakers, unless they're really huge, I guess. Um, here's the hardware that comes with them. So these are the mounting options. So I could make this work. I could put in, uh, they include these little uh, stickers, um, like double-sided tape. So that would be how you get it to stay on the stand. The stands have um, little cleats that go into the bottom of them. So they'll stick in uh, on carpet. They also have cleats that would lock this in. So I could probably I think I could easily just use the cleats instead of the the breakdowns and make they pop up this way I believe let's see those aren't done little tiny cleats so um, they go in and then they point up is my understanding and so they would hold my speaker in place and and yeah yeah it could work it could definitely work for those speakers if I didn't want to hear them to something and then this is just to kind of screw the bottom in. And I think this, um, yeah, this goes here to keep this from uh, moving around. So, um, and this is for the, the wiring. Go through to the bottom. Whoop. So, it's an okay design. Um, they, they would work with... You know, I would guess just about any speakers, considering you could sticker them on, which doesn't sound like a great idea to me. Um, my uh, These particular speakers have a rear mount, so I'm looking at some other uh, speaker stands that are just a slimmer uh, um, neck on them, and it's slimmer everything, actually. And then they just come up to a platform, and then the platform can uh, screw in to secure these with a screw in the back. So I'll uh, take a look at those as well. Once again, these are the um, Atlantic book speaker stands. Now, no English uh, <laughs> instructions were supplied. Um, I don't know if you can see. Uh, I don't even know what language this is. Maybe Spanish. Le, le lire. And then what's this one? One of these is probably like French, one of these is Spanish, um, perhaps, para uso, that sounds uh, Spanish to me, but then nombre also sounds Spanish, so maybe Spanish and Portuguese? Tell me in the, in the, um, <laughs> in the comments below. If you happen to know, just out of curiosity, I can't read either as uh, demonstrated. Um, but uh, Atlantic uh, bookshelf speaker stands, they are they're okay stands. You know, I don't have a beef with them. Besides, I just think they're too beefy. Um, but yeah, all right. And here again is the hardware, the little spikes to keep your speaker in if you want that. The stickers that would adhere your your um, speaker to the stand if you so chose. I don't know who would want to do that. I guess I guess it's fine. Um, the cleats for the base to stick into your carpet and not move. These are for adhering the base to the 
bottom of the stand and these are for um, making sure that the top part of the stand that that kind of pops into the top of the neck uh, doesn't move around so all right take care